allow it, but because they don't allow all traffic to just go out willy-nilly as it wants to, mm -hmm. that ends up blocking Teredo. Teredo is is a consumer um, uh, technology. We don't we don't intend it for corporations or or enterprises. Mm -hmm. um, and most in most enterprises, it won't work anyway because they usually have an edge uh, an edge firewall that pol the edge firewall policies in most cases would be preventing Teredo from functioning. But you can easily block Teredo if you want to. Um, you just need to set your edge device to prevent resolution of the host name Teredo IPv6 Microsoft. Uh, no dot com. Okay. And if you prevent, because Teredo, the Teredo client, to send its keep alives, it it finds out the address of this host name, and that's how it finds out to talk to the Teredo server. And Teredo will not function if it cannot resolve that name. So that's a very easy thing administrators could do to prevent Teredo from working on their networks if they don't want it to. There's also a registry key you can set to stop Teredo from functioning as well. Hmm. So an enterprise could um, publish a group policy setting that will prevent Teredo from, from running too. So there's multiple ways to ensure Teredo sure. won't work, but in most cases, uh, in most enterprise networks, Teredo won't work anyway because their existing network security policies will likely be We'd be blocking it. Sure. So, this is Teredo, mm -hmm. um, and, and as I said, it it, per, it can provide immediate benefits to to users and to application developers in Vista. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll, I'll give an example of something I've done at home. Okay. Uh, I installed I installed the optional web service in Vista on my on a PC I have running in my house, so I, it's now a web server, and and my home is behind a NAT. I have a NAT connected up to my service, my internet service provider. Um, but because I have Teredo on Vista, and I, I created an exception in the Windows firewall on my Vista PC to allow the web service to use Edge Traversal. Hmm. So um, Teredo is now running on my, because I did that, Teredo starts up and, it, and, it, and I now have a Teredo address on my PC at home. And I could find out what my address was by just uh, doing IP config, looking at all the addresses, and I gave my brother my Teredo address, the Teredo address of my PC, and my brother is running a Vista beta as well, and he is able to directly come to my web server anytime he wants, and he can see pictures of my family or other things. So this is a very interesting application because typically it's very hard for people to host web servers in their home because the NATs <laughs> make that very difficult to do. But here I've I've now set up a web server in my own home that's running that. So you can extrapolate that across across almost anything at Vista. Uh, we have put a huge investment in making sure that all of the components in the operating system now support IPv6. So you could, if you wanted, set up a file share uh, in Vista and make that available over Teredo. Nice. I'm not recommending you do that because there can be security concerns about allowing your file sharing to be allowed over the internet. But I'm just giving that as an example that end users could, you, there's a lot of power here. You can mm -hmm. now make any service you want available in Vista directly over the internet through Teredo. Well, I mean, in the case of file sharing, I mean, I think a very legitimate scenario would be wanting to share out uh, pictures without having to create a website, web service as you did, or I might want to share like this one folder on my system with my family, and, I, and basically they can access it directly. Now, I could set policies, security policies on that to only let requests coming from, so how would that work? Well, you, well, the the now trusted you're just, sort of exchange. Well, now you're just working with normal file share security. You have to create user accounts and passwords and so on. And I, I stress this is not a... I was giving this as an example. This yeah. is not a recommended scenario um, because we have not built... There's no automatic authentication, like encryption or so on, that's going on with file sharing in Vista. You'd have to manually set up some of those things. Mm -hmm. And if you want to do that, great, go ahead. But I, it's there's a reason we don't have this running with Teredo by default, sure. because <laughs> unless you're unless you're comfortable with how to set up the credentials and the security policies for file sharing yourself then we want to make sure this is not directly available. Uh, to give an example, a lot of people 
with file sharing, when they do peer-to-peer -peer file sharing, they just use a guest ID and a null password, or they don't have a password, or a blank password, or they'll just use password as a password. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're doing that, you're really making it very easy for somebody to access your file share, and then if you make that available over Teredo, mm -hmm. then your system is really wide open for somebody coming into it. So. So the, these kinds of scenarios, they're very powerful, what you can do with Teredo, but you need to use some of your own judgment and your, yeah. and your comfort level with the security uh, policies uh, to, to set up for yourself. Very cool. Well, this is really interesting stuff, man. Yeah, well, it's, IPv6 sounds very dry, and, it's, and, and, and you can think, well, more addresses, why do I care? Yeah. But um, it really opens up a lot more kinds of scenarios than what you could do before. I mean, with just a NATed scenario, I mean, mm -hmm. how can you reach the other person? If you know their NATed address, you can't do anything with it. It's nothing actionable. You're, there's no way you can actually reach them. Um, now, to give a little bit of uh, something that people can expect going forward mm -hmm. uh, is we are working, Microsoft is working very closely with um, home router vendors. Um, to uh, start supporting IPv6, and they, in fact, we have a um, a work uh, a logo program a work for home routers uh, works certified to work with Windows with Windows Vista, and there will be a number of routers coming on the market um, in in early 2007 of home routers that you'll be able to see in your electronics stores that will have this logo works with um, uh, Windows Vista. And one of the requirements is that they have IPv6 built into the router. Hmm. And this will allow the router to do all of the IPv6 work and the encapsulation and decapsulation of IPv6, even on IPv4 networks. And um, uh, just like we were talking about Teredo, the hmm. router can do this kind of work for you. And, the, and so then the OS doesn't have to do it. And also that would mean that any, uh, any device that you attach to your home network could get an IPv6 address. Mm. A camera, if you have a camera that supports IPv6 or anything. A and I, I, we're actually working with device manufacturers as well who are building IPv6 into their devices. So imagine this. You plug a, your camera into your home network. It gets an IPv6 address. You could now remotely out on the Internet when you're traveling, come back and access your camera or your, your home um, digital video recorder. You could um, uh, act because if you get an IPv6 address, that allows you to now come in, even if it's behind uh, uh, an added device. Mm. Um, so there's a, a lot of very interesting things that can happen in that. And um, Absolutely. So this is... Uh, so do start looking for and demand um, routers with IPv6 mm -hmm. when, you, when you're buying them next year in 2007. Excellent. Now, I noticed in Vista you have the really cool Chess Titans game that comes with it, and you can play with someone. Does this use the Teredo server? Do you know? I don't know. Okay. I have not ver I, it should. It should. Yeah, it probably every, does. Every application in Vista had to path. They had every application had to do IPv6 testing. Mm. Um, and so I haven't checked that particular application. I have sure. not tried it myself to okay. verify that that did work with IPv6. But cool. in principle, it should. It should, yeah. And uh, this is cool. Well, this is now, I think, you know, so let's do a quick summation of, just a quick summation of, again, what IPv6 is, why it matters, and what it means. Just really quickly, just because I like to, let's end it with a little summary, because we've gone sure. all over the place. So, your quick little three-minute IPv6. So, IPv6 um, greatly increases the number of addresses that are available for use on the internet, uh, for networking, um, by an order of magnitude, just phenomenally more addresses. Mm -hmm. And it allows every computer to have a unique address so that you can actually reach it for doing uh, connectivity. Today, in today's internet, uh, because of the use of NATs to get around the address crunch, peer-to-peer -peer connectivity is broken in many cases, and it can be made to peer-to-peer -to -peer can be made to work through a lot of unnatural permutations that make that are difficult for developers, can be costly, and um, and and so then it's not used as frequently as it could be in Vista. Because we have IPv6 running by default, and because we have these transition technologies like Teredo, it can allow IPv6 to be used in today's IPv4 networks, and it can take a lot. It takes all of the pain out of NAT traversal, 
it's easy for developers to take advantage of IPv6 by just making sure they're, they do not hard code IPv4 dependencies into their application. It makes it easy for users to take advantage of direct peer-to-peer -peer capabilities, even with out-of-the-box um, uh, services in Vista, remote assistance, um, Windows meeting space, um, uh, Windows uh, remote desktop, you name it, you right. can do all of these things with Teredo and IPv6. Excellent, man. Well, hey, thank you for your time. It's been fun. And uh, this is clear, and this is good that we're doing this, because I noticed there's actually a lot of questions on Channel 9. It's clear there's some misunderstanding about uh, IPv6. And I noticed that you actually are a Niner, which is awesome, and you were answering it's some a, questions. It's a great tool. Excellent, man. So, um, great. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it.